guess what? We are at a Tiger Spring training game. We're gonna check out the stadium and see how everything is. The Tigers are playing against the Phillies today, so let's go Tigers. They have a canteen here. You can get hot dogs, sandwiches, hamburgers, fries, and drinks. Where everybody plays. That's cool. All right, we are sitting behind the net, so it's kind of hard to see. Show you the stadium. Okay, well, we were sitting down in the sun for, what, four innings? Four hours. Four hours. <laughs> Felt like it. <laughs> four innings, um, and it's hot. It's um, currently 85 degrees, partly cloudy, but the clouds were nowhere near the sun. So we got a little too warm. It was time to leave. At Sorry. least leave out of the sun. Leave out of the sun. So now we're going to go ahead and explore the stadium. And I'll show you guys around, okay? So let's go do that. I'm gonna head into it and see what kind of merchandise they have. Oh, look at this shirt right here. This shirt here is $35. It's nice, lightweight. I like that. You can buy some sweatshirts. There we go. These sweatshirts here, eighty dollars. It is a it's a different feel of a sweatshirt. This shirt's cute. This one is thirty five dollars. Oh, look at the back there. I like that. And then here, for the people that work out, we got these kinds. Let me see what they are. $28. Not much to it, and it's $28. Now, here's a nice tank top here. $35 for this tank top here. Your foam fingers, you got your foam claws. Okay, here are some more different kinds of shirts that they have, and some long sleeve. So, $40 for the long sleeve. I believe this one should be $35. Yeah, all the other shirts are $35. This one's $45. Bliss for men here, $50, and they got shorts to match them. And the shorts are twenty dollars. There we go. Spring training. These are all the teams that are here. Oh, I, there's a sh shadow. Isn't it? There we go. This is all the teams that are here in Florida for spring training, which is the Grapefruit League. Spring training. Oh, let me see how much that shirt was. I forgot to check. Oh, thirty-five dollars. Uh, that's probably my favorite spring training shirt. This one here is just a regular one. $25. Okay, for you to take back home. $90. It's a long sleeve. It says Lakeland, Florida. It's got the Detroit Tigers emblem on it. And spring training sweatshirt. This one should be $80 too, more than likely. Yes, it's $80 too. It's zip up. There's nothing on the back and it's got a hood. A couple polo shirts. How you doing? Good, how are you? $65. That one's a nice shirt. I like this white one. That one's $40. Spring training, 
This one is 25. I like the palm trees. $35 for this one. It's a long sleeve. This one here is $60 from training. Nothing on the back but the white. It's cute. And they got it in black. Some more women's shirts there. Let's see. $38. It's kind of heavy. Too heavy for me to wear here. <laughs> $40. That one's a lighter weight one. We've got necklaces. $8. Earrings. $8. See, it's on the other side. We've got pins. $8. Lapel pins. Keychain should be ten dollars. <laughs> got magnets that are eight dollars. Let's see what they got back there. Oh, they got some Detroit bags. I wonder how much those are. Those are those reusable bags down there. Everybody's using nowadays. I have so many of them, but I like getting them. The reusable um, bags, the orange and the blue one, were five dollars a piece. And then I seen a lot of people with the um, spring training hat. It's white. Um, when I go to the full store, there's a full store farther down. I'm gonna go there and I'll check them out. But um, those were, I think, she said thirty-five dollars, which. Nice hats for especially if you're from Florida to block your face. I wore my visor today, but my um my face I can feel it's red. Here this here's the little walkway around. It's lined with palm trees. It's kind of quite it's quite cute. And then Nice little patio section. They do have some umbrellas that you can sit under and watch the game too. That right there is the scoreboard. We're right behind it right now. Here's a bigger picture of the field here. But we just noticed this net right here it has some balls in it. And we're wondering if maybe perhaps they actually caught those balls in there. That'd be kind of cool if they did. And then this is the berm here that you we could have set it. It's a quite big berm. Oh look at there, play at your own risk. The tigers in the city of Lakeland are not responsible for any injuries. Mm. <laughs> we were sitting Right here where you see this um, Amerigas, where's that, right? Right there where that Amerigas was. We were sitting right to the left of that there, second row up. It would have been uh, nice to tape some of the game while I was over there, but the net was there. Okay, here's another sign. Caution, be alert for objects leaving the playing field. I hope they mean balls and not players. <laughs> and then underneath the scoreboard here is a bar where you can get some alcohol, <laughs> beer, any kind of drink you may want. They even have water. And this over here is, must be a practice field. So when they are practicing, they probably practice over here more than they do at, here at the regular stadium. It looks like there might be two or three sets of fields possibly. Oh, booster, there's like two or three sets maybe. When we get over to that side, we'll have to check it out and see. We live right next to the stadium that the Cleveland Indians used to play at. And they have, I think it's five practice fields and then the stadium. But as you, if you're from Ohio, you know, the Indians, they left and went to Arizona. But in Winter Haven is where they used to play. So. We can open up our screen patio door and see their field. It's kind of cool that we're that close to it. Um, 
So if they redo it, maybe Indians might come back, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. The Braves, they're leaving ESPN. So maybe we can talk the Indians into coming to the ESPN stadium at Disney. Take me out to the <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but right, right about there, that little girl running, right behind it, that's a frog. It's some kind of a frog they're playing on, and this is an ant yeah, on, on a, a piece of cheese. On a of cheese. <laughs> that is kind of cute. Okay, now there's the shade coming. You can see the frog now for sure. Maybe. 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 It looks like the ones that are always hanging around our house first field we seen there's a second field there and then behind this building is a third field but here we are this is where we are in to the ballpark we're almost halfway across from where we were at there's the scoreboard there's the bar right there can't see where we were sitting because of this palm tree but we think this might have been the old scoreboard at one time I'm wondering if maybe when we go along the other side, we might find a door on the other side of it. But there is a restroom down there where the kids are playing. That's where the um, toad was at, the frog. And the ant is right below us down there. <laughs> I thought it was that little thing that you don't like at first. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, That's gosh. what I thought it was. Then I see go the ahead, sheet. you tell them what it is because I can't say it. I don't like them. And you can tell why, how creepy he looked doing that. Spider. <laughs> Spider. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> if you wanna see more of that, hit subscribe, cause you'll see it. All right, I can see where we were sitting now. You'll see that America Gas sign. We were just to the right of it. Here are the bullpens here. The first one is the Phillies, and the one all the way at the end there, that one's the Tigers. We'll be able to get a better look at it. Yeah. And then we've seen all the sand here, so I guess they definitely have enough sand to fill in if they lose any, I guess. They ordered it by the ton. That's right. <laughs> and this is the what we think was the old scoreboard, because you can see better here, there's where bathrooms are at. And the kids playing the, with the frogs right there. Let's see here. Yep, there's an opening here. There's something inside. When we get around the other side, we'll be able to see more. Yeah, we're saying that it, it, it looks like it was a scoreboard at one time, and now they use it for storing stuff. But it's got air conditioner. Mitsubishi air. I didn't hear you. The wind was blowing. It's the Mitsubishi. <laughs> uh oh. Here's the Detroit Tigers number 90. Hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? That's right. When nature calls. You going to the bathroom? And I bet you this is one of their cars. Ooh, look at the bird poop on that yeah, car. But, yeah, you can tell this is definitely probably one of their oh, cars. Oh, you know why? Because I don't know if I can get it because of the sun, but at the very top of this light up there, there's an osprey. So when an osprey has to go to the bathroom, it must come down. And it comes down right there. You know what? But by the end of the game, that bird poop will be cleaned off because they'll make sure that someone to clean it before they take off back to the hotel. I think it's a bounce house, but it's not going up right now. There's a generator. Oh, there's another generator. Oh, they got a whole bunch of them. I bet you they had a whole bunch of them going for the kids to play because this is a pretty big area here. This right here. We can see where we were sitting right over there. Wave
these chairs here that you can use and sit on. This is a nice area. Oh, they got some rocking chairs back there. Oh, the garbage can is cute. I'll take you guys over there to see it. But there's a nice breeze right here. Isn't that cute? And we got rocking chairs. Nice shaded area up here. It's shaded everywhere because as you can see, the sun is finally clouded. But there's a nice breeze over here. We weren't getting this breeze over there where we were sitting. So this is nice. They got some restrooms on this side too. Got some Miller Light chairs. But then we also have a scoreboard, a scoreboard here too. And today's raffle is a 50-50. We just played it. It's up to $5,500. We have 10 numbers, so cross your fingers we get one of those because we'll get half of that amount. Cruise time! Cruise time! Piece of history. There's a little piece of history right here. That's interesting. I like down at the bottom that little plane it says Tiger Town, USA. Got another little special area over here that people can sit. And you got a couple little small concession stands with a few drinks that you can pick up, some peanuts and some pretzels. And then over there is another little bar. Yeah, this is a nice big area. Those must be offices up in there. And there's numbers. There we go. This is called the beach bar over here. But see, nice big patio. Oh. Okay. I'm a little slow. I just figured out the runway. This here is the runway that we're walking on. Cause see, you can see 36. There's lines all the way down. So this is the history of the runway that they're talking about. This whole area. That is a really cool thing. Another little nice patio area, but I think this is a special area where they um, corporates offices or corporate businesses or Matt will um how do I explain? okay the best way for me to explain it is what they do is they um they have food it's like kind of like a buffet kind of a thing where you can go get your own food it's usually the hot dogs chips stuff like that maybe hamburgers but then this is their private seating area <laughs> that they can sit in to watch the game and it looks like I see a lot of people with orange hats on so and there's a bag over there with orange hats in it so they must get a hat too from it so that was kind of a neat thing yep I guess Pepsi is their sponsor I can't figure out why I think Pepsi is their sponsor <sighs> something you know just something in my mind makes me think that Pepsi sponsors this place just like at, at Disney, I think Coke sponsors Disney for some reason. You know, subliminal messages or something going on. Yeah, look at this. He's got a power washer. And he is power washing the bottom of the shoes. There's their supply of double bubbles. Sure there yeah. Okay. It's kind of interesting to see that they power wash their shoes. I guess that's one way to get the dirt out of the plates, huh? Now here we are on the other side of the scoreboard. There's the scoreboard. So we've walked all the way from over by that Amerigas sign all the way around we've almost gone the complete circle 
and that's where the runway's at, way right up there. Got some nice sitting here. For being such a hot day, this woman's got a scarf on her because of the air blowing so much. Got a daiquiri bar here, folks. Daiquiri bar. I'm about to go into the store. I was over here looking at the $25 and less merchandise. I was looking over there. There was a really cute pink hat. Um, it had the Detroit Tigers on it, but it was pink and it had palm trees and foot flaps. Really cute, but it was a kid's. My head's a little too big for the kids. Look at these shirts. This has got a green on it. It says spring training on it. It's $90. It's an air wicking one. They got them in green, pink, blue, and gray. Oh, there's a different blue, an orange. Wow, those are cute. We got more pink hats up here, but these are all for youth. It's all youth down here. And there's some other shirts. These are just basic t shirts, but they got all kinds of different ones. Hats here. Now this one's cute. It's orange with the palm tree. That one's thirty dollars for that. Oh, it says Lakeland, Florida on the back. Look at that. I don't want orange though. I don't wear a lot of orange. Beach towels with the spring training field on it. Twenty-two dollars. Oh, we got cozies you can buy. Don't know how much those are. Cup souvenir. It's a knob shot. I've never heard of that before. Okay. There's those bags and there's those other ones I was looking at. Those ones are 20. Look at that green. I like that. But these, this is a, these are men's shirts, $35. I like that one. We've got bags you can get. $20. Two cone. This hat here, it's pink and black, and it does say Detroit on the back. That one is um, $30 for that hat. What do you guys think? Is this me or what? Hmm. Might have to think about this, huh? Vine, vine, vine yard vines here. And they even got it. Let's see, this shirt goes for Yeah, this shirt sells for one hundred dollars. And this one too. Thank you so much, Maggie. That's okay. Thank you. Hi, Yemi. Hi. Thank you very much. Okay, I am just so geeked. Did you just hear him say hi, Yemi? Yay! 
I am so excited. I wonder if we can find anybody else while we're standing here. Well, don't I look silly in that big chair? Well, we had a very good time today, and I hope you enjoyed everything. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.